Yo, what's up? I am Miss King, and I'm standing here with Mr. St. Millie himself. How are you feeling? I feel great, man. I'm feeling good, real good. Feeling good, living better? Yep, always. Got a new project out. Everything's good right now. Okay, so tell us about it. Tell us about it. You said the name of it is Adderall. So, one, you be popping Addies? Nah, uh, well, you know what? I have before. But that's not really my my thing, my thing. But uh, basically, the uh, focus of the project was to um, make sure that I convey energy and just something that people can like get up, focus, they can work to, work out to, whatever it may be. This is the soundtrack for that. Maybe when you turn it on, you're not going to go to sleep. You got to stay up, man. That's all it's about. Stay, stay woke. Up. Stay woke. Stay woke. No sleeping. Hey, so can you tell us a little bit about the project? Who's featured on it? Who produced it? And everything? I got I got an amazing lineup of producers. I got 808 Mafia. I got uh, Mano. Um, I got Seasick on it. I got um, Lee on the Beats on there. I got an incredible producer by the name of Bremar who signed a Fool's Gold on there. So, um, pretty dope cast. Uh, on the feature side, I got Sir Michael Rocks. Um, I got a verse from Mano on there. Uh, Logan Cage. Um, man, an array of dope artists. It's a really solid project, for real. What's your favorite song on the project? Uh, my favorite song has to be between Thinking thinking of You and um, Lil' Bit, produced by Paris Bueller. My bad, I skipped his name. Okay, Sorry. Bueller? Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. No, <I'm> <laughs> okay, and you t just told me that you headlined a show at Double Door here in Chicago. How that? How was that? Uh, it was an amazing show. Um, we brought Brent Maher and Slinks here um, to do the live show at Double Door. Uh, we had somewhere of like around like three to like four hundred people come out. It was pretty amazing. Um, yeah, man, great show. Really great crowd. It was incredible. Okay, and I'm sad to say this, but I have not seen you perform live. So I'm sad. But so, what? Um, how would you describe your stage persona, your sets? What is it like? crazy and energetic and you won't sit down for a minute at all so you want to want to be jumping around you be dancing because you just told us your favorite dance can we see it can we see it he he, he rocks with the drip of my walk hey there you go there you go one more time hey 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 <laughs> crazy man uh, um yeah you're funny <laughs> okay so in the future three artists that you would love to work with in the future, I would love to work with uh, Pharrell, Kanye West, and The Weeknd. Okay, nice. I like that variety right there. What do you have set up for the summer then? Um, we got um, uh, another tape coming uh, this summer. We also got um, a bunch of shows lined up that we're just waiting on a, a few things to happen, and then we'll be able to announce them. But. Um, just a bunch of amazing things, man. Got a couple uh, T-shirt collabs coming out. So we're working on a lot of different stuff, man. We okay, definitely very, get a hot summer. Okay, very dope. So as far as your career right now, at what point in your career will you be able to sit back and say, I'm satisfied, I'm completely happy and content with where I'm at in my career? Um, Probably never because I don't know how to be satisfied with stuff. So I'm always trying to reach the next level if I can. If I can push it and go even higher, I want to take it there. So hopefully that I'm, I'm, I plan to always be evolving and I always elevate. So hopefully it never stops. Nice. Well, thank you so much, St. Millie. And you've been watching Color Me TV. Stay tuned for the next episode. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, St. Millie, and I'm in here rocking with Color Me TV. Hey.